From Darkness Unto Light, the translation of the Book of Mormon. This will be a short introduction to how the Book of Mormon was translated, and we'll have se ask several important questions that define how this is and this occurred, and also what it means to have had the translation of the Book of Mormon occur. Now part of the reason that this has become such a pertinent question is that we've misinterpreted what the translation of the Book of Mormon actually is in many ways. Our representation of what the translation is has overtaken the reality of how Joseph Smith has actually translated the Book of Mormon. One uh, identifier of showing that this question of how the Book of Mormon was translated is germane to our contemporary day and important to us to think about is you can see here on this page you have LDS.org topics in the Book of Mormon of the translation. So this is part of the church's attempt to define tough historical questions. We're in a day and an age in which history has become very relevant with the internet age and information being so readily available. Things like the translation of the Book of Mormon, which has largely been represented as a way that Joseph was inspired to receive the words, is actually quite different when we dig into the historical record and find out what individuals who knew Joseph Smith believed about the translation of the Book of Mormon. This is a great painting. It's actually an illustration that kind of represents the concept that needs to be emphasized during this introduction. This is Joseph Smith as he pulls the plates out from the, the tomb that they were buried in by Moroni who lays his hands on him and God and Jesus who also lay their hands upon the prophet Moroni, represented also by the Holy Ghost uh, encircles all of them. This is a miracle and it should be defined as a miracle. That's the way that Joseph Smith always defined it. By the gift and power of God did he translate the Book of Mormon. It sometimes is dealt with in more secular ways where we try to break things down and reduce it into something that is calculated or quantitated for our own understanding. But if you were to analyze this process as a miracle, just like a miracle if an angel appeared or if the resurrection happened. This is one of those miracles that should be defined as a miracle. And I think this is a great image to help us understand or begin to look at it in those terms instead of secularizing it. And so we'll be looking at what people believed about it, what those closest to Joseph believed happened in the translation. So the first question that we probably need to ask, that why is this question important, is why have we missed interpreted the translation? And this is a good question, especially considering Neil A. Maxwell's talk by the gift and power of God appeared in the Enzyme in January 1997. In his descriptions, he uses very clear descriptions of how it occurred, and he quotes David Whitmer, who is one of the clearest examples, accounts, that uh, describe the translation of the Book of Mormon. And he also says that words appear on seer stones, something that we don't readily talk about. Additionally, Russell M. Nelson also authored an article called A Treasured Testament in the Enzyme in 1993. These two discuss the concept of translation very clearly. And so to think that in the last 25 years we've been hiding the concept of how the translation occurred is probably not exactly true. As members, have we expressed it poorly and represented it in a way that appears like the word actually means translation. Someone sitting down translating something into English from an unknown language. That is something that doesn't occur. But we represent it like the picture on the right, as if Joseph really did translate the gold plates like a scholar may have translated ancient characters. The other reason is, is JSP, the Joseph Smith Project, Documents Volume 1, has a presidency approved description of all of the different sources that make up the translation process and gives it in some detail and a hierarchy of which sources may be more accurate or useful to the researcher. So these are these are very clear and obvious ways that the church has been expressing its what it knows about the translation of the Book of Mormon and that it had there were certain instruments that they used. And asking the question, does God work through instruments? And the answer is, of course he does. And the images here, depicted here, are 
unhistorical and actually depict it as a form. The, the concept of thinking about that image as depicting our concept of translation would probably be accurate, but historically accurate is it is not.